So from what we can see, the MiG-29 strengths do not lie in BVR, but in WVR. And its goal is to get in close and either achieve a kill with its R-27 variants, or merge and take advantage of its helmet mounted sight and Archer missile. And what we're going to do now is see how well do these tactics work, and if they are in fact efficient for this aircraft. So in this next scenario, I detect a bandit in TWS that is about 70 kilometers out, and I see that he's heading towards me. So I preemptively turn perpendicular to the bandit to get out of his line of sight, and then I recommit when the bandit's closer to me. So I basically did not get scanned by any search radar, and I stayed undetected. And you're going to see what happens when you're able to do this successfully. Один, один, двухсотый. Обнаружена цель. Ноль, два, два. Удаление. Сто пятьдесят. Один, один, двухсотый. Обнаружена цель. Ноль, пять, пять. Удаление. Пятьдесят. На тысячу пятьсот. Один, один, двухсотый. 
Обнаружена новая цель. 067. Удаление 90. На 1500. Расходитесь. So now what I'm going to show you is what can happen when things go wrong. Let's say you pop up on the bandit and instead of having the first shot or the element of surprise or being undetected, you are detected and you both exchange fire at one another and the battle in itself is reset and what can happen from there and how it still benefits you if you manage to survive. So this is just going to be the tack view of the engagement that you just saw. And you'll see that you'll see the point where I tried to break the Hornets lock and I thought I broke it successfully, which I did. But as I turn back in, if you rewind back and look at the RWR, my RWR shows that I am being tracked again, which means a Hornet reacquired me. But I already committed to the attack at that point, so I had to fire. Um, since he was able to reacquire me, he fired back at me as well, and it basically reset the fight. But the benefit of this is, once again, your goal in a MiG is to either get in undetected and get off a shot without taking any kind of return fire, or if you do, to get in close and take advantage of your maneuverability and your helmet mounted sight. Um, and when it comes to BFM with a Hornet, you're going to outmatch a Hornet in the vertical due to your more powerful thrust and you have a slight instantaneous turn advantage against the Hornet. So a WVR fight is in your favor but at the end of the day it still comes down to the pilot. But once again I achieved both goals. I got in close and was able to take advantage of surprise 
And even though I was fired back at, I was still able to merge, which is my second goal. That's where you want to be in the mid. You want to merge with your opponent and try and take advantage of the aircraft itself and come out on top. But once again, it can go both ways. But still, I checked off those two goals. And in my mind, this is a success um, based on whether or not you actually defeat the missile that's coming at you. And once again, this is just an example of it not going as planned.